It's something people have known for centuries. Some diseases never infect the same person twice thanks to immunity. Artificial immunity is the idea behind vaccines, and people have been trying to achieve it for hundreds of years. Some historians believe the Chinese inoculated themselves against smallpox as early as the year 1000 AD. But the founder of immunology in the West is considered to be Edward Jenner. In 1796, Jenner took pus from a cowpox sore on a milkmaid's hand and deliberately infected a young boy with it. Months later, he exposed the boy a number of times to smallpox, but the boy had developed an immunity and never got smallpox. Jenner's early methods went through medical changes over decades, but ultimately led to the elimination of smallpox in 1979. Louis Pasteur became the next major figure in the prevention of diseases and immunology. In 1885, Pasteur and Pierre Roux developed a rabies vaccine from infected rabbits. Pasteur also spearheaded the early stages of a cholera vaccine that was developed and used by a Spanish physician that year. He also started work on an anthrax vaccine during the early 1880s. A vaccine for plague was also invented in the late 19th century. The early 1930s was a significant time for vaccines, bringing about immunizations for diphtheria, typhoid, tetanus, tuberculosis, and whooping cough. And for the first time, vaccines were introduced for influenza and yellow fever from 1937 to 1939. Medical advancements throughout the 20th century have led to the creation of even more. American scientists William Hammond and Jonas Salk were responsible for the polio vaccine in 1952. From the 60s to 70s, we saw vaccines created for measles, mumps, chickenpox, and pneumonia. In the past 10 years alone, we have already seen vaccines created for malaria, dengue fever, and Ebola. Several diseases have been eliminated through the use of vaccines. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention calls them one of the greatest success stories in public health.